too. Oh, I love you too. Oh, I love you. Okay, go to bed. Come on, sit. Say hello. Say hello. You're so cute. Say hello. I know. I love you too. Oh, I love. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Okay, can you sit for mama? Okay, can you sit for mama? Good boy. Good boy. Hi guys. Welcome back to another. <laughs> you have such a cute look. Welcome back to another pup date. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the questions that I've been getting about Theo. So one of the things that people are very interested in is how to pick out your doodle. Now we've talked a lot of, in previous videos about um, choosing a reputable breeder and I'm actually gonna do an entire video on that. So if you're here to tell me adopt, not shop, I please recommend that you go and look at my older videos. I definitely cover why we chose to go with a reputable breeder um, and understanding that you know, sometimes people have to make decisions that were right for their family. So um, I, I understand and I know and I have covered that in a previous video. So I'll link to that um, in the box below if you want to check out um, you know, my perspective on it. So now that we have that out of the way, let's say you have decided to go with a breeder, you found a reputable breeder, and now you want to figure out how to pick out your puppy. So Theo was one of 10 puppies, and we were third on the list, which means um, that the first two people actually chose to have a uh, girl dog. So we had either the choice of a third female dog, three of five, or the very first boy. Now we um, honestly were okay with either gender. It wasn't, I oh, know, blah, blah. It wasn't something that we were too um, tied to, but at the same time, uh, we figured the first uh, out of five was just kind of a better choice for us to find the dog that worked right for our family. Oh, hello, oh my baby, I know. Okay, okay come here, come, come sit, come sit, good boy. Yeah, um, so, sorry about that. So, um, we decided to pick, uh, we decided to pick a boy. So once we started, okay, can you leave it? Leave it. Okay, no, leave it. He's staring at it. Once, stay. Once we decided to go with a boy, we um, went to the breeder and they actually brought out all five puppies. And guys, uh-uh, leave it. Okay. They actually bring out all five puppies and they're so, so tiny. We actually picked out our puppy at just five weeks old. So he brought out all five in one, like literally in both hands, just five little puppies. We, uh, so my, myself, my husband, and my two brother-in-laws went and we were all stunned. Like we were like these little cuties, like well, how are we ever gonna pick? And so he puts them down and kind of just is like, you know, let them do what they wanna do. They'll come to you. You can come sit on the ground and, and see how they react. Leave it. <laughs> he's staring. I wish you guys could see how hard he's staring. Leave it. Um, so anyways, they go in and they put all, uh -uh, all five, of, he's getting closer and closer. They put all five of them on the ground and we kind of just wait. So the way that you tell is that they actually put a collar, okay, they actually put a collar on each of the, um, on the dogs. And so online we had already seen pictures and so we knew that we wanted to meet brown collar because it seemed like his coat was a little bit darker. Now one of the things that I learned in my research on finding a golden doodle was that their coats do get lighter as they become um, adult dogs and so I knew that if we picked a dog that was already light they were going to turn out to be even lighter and sometimes they end up looking more poodle like just because they're you know wavy or curly and white and so really wanted a golden doodle in fact his litter based on his parents uh, oh no mom my baby no go here I need to stop come here sit yeah shake yeah over over that's only halfway over. Okay, you're cute. Um, so we, gosh, where was I in the story? Um, oh, right, so we decided that we wanted to meet, okay, come here, come here, come here, come here, come Theo, come, come to bed. We decided that we wanted to meet Brown Collar, and so we went to go meet Brown Collar, and then um, we started, obviously all the puppies came out, and so we're sitting there, and green collar came up and blue collar came up and after a couple of minutes they're like literally like crawling onto my lap and we i had read so much about it that i heard that you know don't go to the first dog that comes to you it means that they're going to be come here there means that they're going to be emotionally um you know very attached and you know they might have separation anxiety um they said like and then other people said like you don't pick the dog you let the dog pick you so no matter what you're looking for what theory you want to find you'll find people who you know, we'll vouch for that. So with us, I would have loved if Brown Collar came to us, but in fact, all four of the five puppies came and crawled on us and Brown Collar turned around and walked the other way. And he started hiding. Like this dog was so not into us, which is 
honestly a perfect representation of his personality. Theo wants to be around us, he wants to be near us, he wants to lay by our feet, but Homeboy does not like to cuddle, he did not have separation anxiety, I, I hope because we also trained him well and eased him into being alone, but that is very, very telling of his personality. Anyways, so we narrow it down to, so all my husband and his two brothers are each holding a puppy for like the next hour. So of course when the time came, everybody wanted their puppy. I think one of the brothers, I'm going to find a picture. So one of the brothers was holding brown collar, one of the um, brothers was holding blue collar, one of them was holding green collar. So green collar was a little bit lighter, so we decided kind of he was like out. But blue collar was so sweet and we were like, oh, you know, he'll be, like maybe we should pick him. And then of course brown collar, collar was the darkest of them all. Um, so we said that we would let him know, uh, let the breeder know we were going to go home and think about it. Um, so we did go home and think about it and we were like, you know, brown collar is the one we wanted. He seemed to warm up to us a little bit later. Should have known. Um, and then, uh, so we, you know, we called him and said we wanted brown collar. Well, fast forward, um, just so you're wondering how those dogs are doing. Um, all of them are doing wonderful. Brown collar is Theo, and as you know, he did turn out to be the biggest puppy in his litter. I actually talked to some of the owners um, who have Theo's siblings, and their dogs are like 20 to 25 pounds. Guys, Theo is like 45 pounds. Like, we have a mini golden doodle who's 45 pounds, and luckily he's 45 pounds of just pure, sweet goodness, but um, you never know, right? Like, they all have the same parents. Um, I will say that those dogs are also, have all turned white, and they're super sweet, beautiful, adorable dogs, but yeah, but you know, we were right in our research that the dogs do turn lighter. Um, Theo actually, come here, come here, Bubba, 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 look, I have a treat. Okay, if you look at his coloring, he actually has a, uh-uh, he has, ha -ha, good boy, ha -ha, oh, what a sweet boy. Okay, so his tail is dark, come here, come up. Ah. <laughs> His back part is actually a lot lighter, and then his head and his face is um, is darker in color, and his ears are very dark. But his entire um, size and his hands are also light. Come here, can you come show them? All right, come here, turn. Okay, cheek, cheek. Oh yeah, you see those light light hands, but dark dark ears. That so that's his coloring. It's honestly beautiful, and whatever dog you get, he's or she is going to be beautiful. But I know because we specifically went with a breeder, we wanted a certain type of dog, um, that was what we wanted. Can you catch? Oh, that was really close. Um, okay, last thing, about the, about the coat. So wavy coat, straight coat, fluffy coat, uh, curly coat. So um, it's honestly very, 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 very down, very hard to tell when they are little, um, especially when you're picking them out at like five weeks, how they're going to turn out. With Theo, he actually had a very straight coat as a puppy. I'm gonna put some pictures. Um, but what happened is that once their puppy fur um, falls, which generally mini doodles um, don't shed, but any dog will shed their puppy coat and then grow in their adult coat. Think about it like losing baby teeth and getting adult teeth. So when that happens, um, their coat will kind of set into like what their hair normally will be. So Theo actually had very straight hair as a puppy. He looked very much like a golden retriever. And then his wavier coat, I think he has a bit of a wavy coat. He's not super curly. That came in um, as he got um, his adult coat. So he actually looked, a, I'm not going to lie to you, he looked a little ratty as a, as a puppy. Everyone was posting their like super cute. <laughs> puppy pictures of their gold like fluffy golden doodles and homeboy was like a little bit ratty <laughs> he was still very cute you were still so cute but now that his face kind of fluffed up we, we love like this haircut and this look for him oh no okay shake all right come here come say bye to the people thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna try to make more videos that are shorter so that we can kind of answer some of your questions uh, but theo loves you guys thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe we're gonna be posting so many more theo videos i know this is what you guys want to see so this is what we're gonna give you also big shout out please go follow theo on instagram we have been launching theo's instagram page and we're trying to do a very good job and as youtube family we know that you love him so we could really appreciate that love on instagram he is at Theo My Dude, that's the T H E O M O Y D O O D. I'll put it right here. Please go and subscribe um, to our YouTube channel. Please go follow us on Instagram. We love you. Bye. Theo, come say bye. Come say bye. Come say bye. Come here. Come on. Yeah, come here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over. And bye. <laughs>